my drive. How are you guys doing today? Let's take a tour of the studio. Right, so this is my son's old room. Trevor, if you're watching, you already know. So there's an old futon and that's basically in here for the dogs. Usually I have this blanket down for them. See if they want to, you know, sleep on the blanket. They very rarely get on the futon, so I'm not sure why I even bother. And then here I have a painting. This is something I did in art school in college. It's a still life, and it's got the palette knife technique, which I really, really adore. So I uh, got a secondhand frame and put some embellishments on it. Hi, Rolo. Rolo's like, gotta be the star of the show. And that's the door. And then here is my bookshelf. And I have just some bits and pieces, some art books, some scripture stuff, some of my old journals for writing. I have this cool little tin that I like, a candle, some decorative pieces. Sometimes I use those for my product shots. And then these are like books, my favorite books, mostly of my favorite artists. We can use that, do that for another studio vlog. I will reveal who my favorite artist is. And then just some shelves with some, <clears throat> let's see, watercolor paper, sketch pads, and this little doodad with some pens and paper towel. And then there's Riley. Say hi, Riley. And then over here, I have my lovely little cart that you probably see a lot of artists have. I was lucky enough to find it in this color. I love this color. I have my Prismacolor watercolors, some paint pots of this Modera acrylic colors, which aren't too bad. Uh, I don't know what's all in here. Paint palette, some charcoal, some baskets. And then some more stuff down here. Pencils, garbage bags. I don't really have much in there. And then, of course, we pan back and there is my easel. I needed this to be by the window so that when I painted, of course, those of you that do paint and like natural light on their art which that makes sense to you. But <clears throat> so I got this inexpensive uh, easel and it came with the <clears throat> paint that you see there. And an empty little drawer with some canvases. Um, I do have some other canvases here in the back. <clears throat> Pretty cool, opens up in the back. And there's my lovely window. And then here I have another little shelf with my watercolor pencils and paint brushes. And then these are my acrylic uh, paint brushes. Uh, usually I put water or paint in there. And then some more acrylic brushes, my water cans. Excuse me, Rolo. Um, paint palettes, a water tub, and expensive watercolors. Um, ooh, I need to try these acrylic pens and Posca pens, which I haven't. I've done a little bit with it. I'm not sure what's in this box. At the time, I don't even know what's in. Oh yeah, some more inexpensive watercolor paints. And down here I have my glues, <laughs> some glitter, some decoupage. Ooh, everybody's got to have E6000, right? And ticky tack glue, gosh, you know. And then if we come up here, this is my desk. And what I love about my desk, I'm not going to show you, but the back flips up. So you can actually use it as an easel. And it came with this cool kind of bar stool chair. You'll see Roscoe making a little bed. So cute. 
anyway, so this is where I do a lot of my drawing. I listen to podcasts, YouTube videos on my laptop here. And I love this little caddy. I got it pretty inexpensively on uh, Amazon. So I have it kind of organized with some stuff. And it's got a little drawer with some paper. Stuff that I'm working on here. Another shelf. And then this is kind of, I don't know, paper clips, staplers. I'm going to use these. I got this this idea off of Mae Yang, uh, uh, YouTuber, artist. She uh, uses these to make her little uh, notepads. And she has little clips and stuff. And then uh, envelopes, some sticky pads, and I don't know, some miscellaneous stuff. And then at the bottom, I have some can oops, some candles. And then over here, I have this cool basket thing that I got. Um, honestly, I don't remember where I picked it up, but here holds my. Um, they're not Copic markers. What are they? Oh, hoo hoo markers. That's what it is. And I love this little dish here and some lavender and this picture. It's actually a picture out of a magazine. I believe my grandmother gave me this picture in the frame and I've loved it ever since. And then these are old dresser drawers of Trevor's. And so I have some thread. Uh, these guys, so a student of mine, when I worked in the library, painted these, and she was in, I believe, fourth grade, and she was so excited to give them to me, but I love these. Aren't they cool? Then I also have some crayons, a power cord that it doesn't go to anything, some glitter, extra frame stuff shower curtain. I don't know, it's all that stuff that you kind of think you need that you don't know what to do with it. Oh, all my extra diamond painting drills. That's empty. Glue gun stuff. Some markers. I mean, I don't think I have a lot of stuff, but maybe I do. And then in here, I have my essential oils in here. It really makes the drawer smell really good. And then I have all of these. I was into, still am, into geometric or sacred geometry. So I have my oh, I forget. That. You know, things to make the circles. Uh, compass? Not a compass. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm sorry guys, you know what that is. And then, I guess, over here is just stuff. You know, stuff. There's your picture right there. And then I don't know why I'm keeping these tubes, because you never know. Really, that's all there is for my studio. And, of course, I'm trying really hard not to step on puppies as I move around. So how are you guys today? Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to another studio vlog. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the studio. Kind of tripped over my words a little bit. And that's really the, the main studio where I hang out and do my drawing. Now I have another little part of the house where <clears throat> my other computer is. My printer. Um my packing stuff, my stickers. It's kind of like the packing station. It's also where I edit my videos. I get onto my Silhouette Studio and do all of my cut, cutting and printing in there. Um, maybe I'll show you that next time. But uh, yeah, that's the studio, studio tour. And I'm hoping for my next vlog, we could talk about who my favorite artist is. I have a couple of books that I'd like to share. And yeah. Hey guys, do you want to pack an order with me? I got an order, so let's go pack an order. <laughs>
weeks I've been on motivation actually I have not been on motivation street so to speak I just have not been really motivated for no really particular reason but I finally um by the end of last week I was like look let's let's just get out of this nonsense and Let's figure this out. I think part of it was is, uh, the lead up to the new YouTube channel. Sorry, the dogs are playing. <laughs> the lead up to my Etsy store, starting a YouTube channel, getting things uh, up and running, like, uh, what do you call it? Your uh, merchandise up on Etsy and everything. So I got all that done and it was a ramp up to it. And Christmas happened, New Year's, had some sales and then crickets you know and then I'm thinking what do I do now I mean do I I don't know hold on let's wait till these guys stop playing okay never mind anyway so I finally got my butt in gear and started really brainstorming on hopefully a new spring collection and let me show you what I have uh, on the drawing board so to speak so as you can see here, I decided to draw some cute animals, kind of cartoon style. And this is a little piggy, and I think she or he is just adorable. And then I was trying to keep in the same style, a little elephant. And I have two more characters I want to draw, and I think I'll just put them in a little sticker pack and just probably call them cute animals. What do you guys think? I don't have any idea but they're so cute so that's one of the things I am working on so another thought that I had is I wanted to do my own self-care uh, bundle stickers spring like uh, bundles so for example uh, there would be like a sticker or a little booklet to help to help with mental illness and I drew up this kind of uh, like a four tier mental self-care, physical self-care, emotional self-care, and spiritual self-care. And I wanted to do a spring theme. So like for mental self-care, it would be like some poppies and for physical self-care would be daisies. Emotional self-care would be sunflower and spiritual self-care would be daffodil. And so I've been drawing some sketches and kind of figuring out how many, um, images I wanted to do like a little booklet with a scripture to go along to um, help with our mental health. Um, so like the mental health part would have some scripture with a uh, flower image and then each section would have some verses to go along to help you um, kind of just heal you. Have help healing your mental health through the word of God, through your Bible and through your scripture reading. I, for me, um, I find great comfort in reading my Bible, but oftentimes I don't know where to go or what scriptures to read when I'm feeling a ways. So I thought this might help some people that are struggling. And as we all, if we've been, you know, watching the news, there's lots going on in the world everywhere. So 
I got my inspiration for all those really, really neat uh, mental health stickers and stuff that a lot of the artists are doing and they're doing it very well. And I didn't really want to copy. I just wanted to do my own thing, of course, but I really wanted to add scripture and the Holy Spirit to this. So here's another um, kind of just sketches that I've been working on. I will show you what I have on the drawing board right now in my digital part. So that's keeping me busy. So let's take a look at those. So here is the poppy, but I don't know if I'm going to use this image because it looks too close to that image and I don't want to do a copyright. But I love the colors and I love the block color idea. So I think I'm going to have to change it up a little bit so it doesn't look exactly like this, even though I drew it freehand. Um, so I don't want to get in trouble for that. So that's one of my favorites, but I'm going to have to make it more my own, I suppose. So, and then the other one that I don't know how I feel about this one. I'm still playing around with it. They're daisies and I love the kind of watercolor aspect to it. with Kind of an Art Nouveau, um, border, but... So those are my ideas so far, and that's what I'll be working on for a few weeks. I do have, actually, I've never mentioned it. I have a commission that I'm doing that I need to get that done, and I normally don't do commissions um, for various reasons, but I got to get that done this week and get that out to uh, my client there. And But anyway, let me know what your thoughts are, if you have any, uh, regarding anything, life in general. And I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye for now. I've got a lot to do, but I wanted to come in here and say hi. I haven't forgotten about you guys. I hope you guys are well. And I'm going to um, end this video in the car wash. I went and, took and got my truck cleaned yesterday. It was a lovely day. So I'll just leave. Uh, you can watch till the end if you want to see a little car wash Uh ending outro to this video. You guys take care. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. This is so fun, car wash. Pretty colors.